Hello scientists, I'll show you how to draw a lipid by layer in PowerPoint. So first let's grab our ellipse tool to draw a circle. And then we will need to change the fill to a radial gradient. Let's come to the gradient fill. First we need to switch the type to radial type and then the, select the direction that radiates from the center. And then I will remove one of the gradient stops. So we will only have two stops here. And click on the color box, then you can change the color in the gradient. And I will use this very light blue. And now we will adjust the outline. So open this line tab, and then you will see you can select the solid line here. And I usually use dark gray for the outline and we need to make it a little bit thinner. Now let's make the lipid change. So I will also draw a circle and I will remove the fill because we only need the outline and come up here in the control panel to click on this icon. Then you can click on this added point. Then you will see these four dots that shows up. These are the anchor points. So let's come over here to right click on this right anchor point. And then you'll see in this drop down menu, there's an option called delete point. Let's click on it and let's right click on the top anchor point. And then we will click on open path. And you see your lines breaking apart right at that point. And we will only need the part that's connecting two points. And I will manipulate the anchor points to make the path into an S shape. Okay, when you're done, uh, just uh, click on the side, then you will exit the edit point mode. And now let's come back to our format shape panel. I will increase the width of the path to 1.25 just make it a little bit thicker and then I'll come down here to cap type and select round Then we will have this uh, lipid chain and I will attach it to our phosphate head and uh, right click and send it to the back and then I'll make a copy of it control C control V and put it over here on the side of the first chain and also then send it to the back if you want to make sure the chains are aligned, you can select both of the chains and then come to arrange and then align to button. Okay, then I'll select everything and right click to group it. And this will be one phospholipid unit. And just copy it and then spin it for 180 degrees. And now you have a unit for the lipid by layer. I will also go to arrange and align them. And now you just need to make many copies of it and then align them along your canvas. We will need to add a cytosol underneath the lipid by layer. So grab your rectangle tool and then remove the outline and switch the fill to gradient fill. And uh, immediately we have this linear gradient. That's great. That's what we want. Then I'll have the darker color on top and right behind the lipid by layers. And then as it goes down, it fades into a lighter blue. Remember to send it to the back. And this is your lipid by layer. But now you see you can use PowerPoint to draw scientific illustrations. That looks like the style in Nature Review. Uh, so you don't really need fancy software. I live stream drawing scientific illustrations on Twitch. Every Sunday, you can come hang out with me over there and we can have a chat. If you have any questions, you can also ask me there. Comment below the topics you want to see on my channel, and then I will put it up for vote in the community tab. Give a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next video.